So we've been waiting for this day for so long. We have Brett from Parfait Parquet here. Now, we have been so excited with this because it's such a massive job, isn't it? And it's so important to get this right. Yeah. This is, again, Brad's of the same philosophy of us as us. You're here to restore these floors. You're not here to renovate them, make them look no. brand new. And that's the reason we've got Brad in to do this. It's something that we just couldn't do. And you've been recommended by literally everyone we've met. That's so, great. so yeah, what we're going to do. So the process that we're, we're going to complete on the floors, the initial part was the assessment, which is the most important part because that means I can meet you guys. Yeah talk about what your ambition is for the floors and what your expectations are so that I make sure I can meet them. Yeah. And that gives me an idea of the decor, which gives me a better understanding of what sort of finish you want for the floor. When we initially met, you spoke about keeping the history of the floors mm -hmm. and not making them look brand new. So that's why we are restoring the floors. So we're gonna do an initial sanding of the floor to remove any debris, dirt, and flatten the, the parquet. Because the parquet is quite old, it's got some undulation in the floor where the chevrons meet, which is a natural part of an aged parquet. But also, with the parquet being a certain age, we want to put the texture back into the parquet. And that's the difference between floor sanding and floor restoration. Because most people will just sand the floor and leave it to apply a finish, yeah. which is great, that, that gives you a good finish. But it makes it look new and you don't want no, a new okay. looking floor, you want it to match with the decor. So we'll be using the Palmal Spider, which is our main restoration machine, which will sand the floor dust free, because we don't want any dust <laughs> in the house. So everything's dust free that we use, for Festo and Palmal. But once we've done the initial sanding, sanded the borders, making sure that we protect all beautiful panel work that you've done, we'll then do the border work with the sander, and then the spider work. And once all the initial sanding's done, then we'll be using a, a mastic aboise, which is a, or a pate bois, which is the fine sawdust from your floor, at 80 grit, and a, uh, basically a resin. We make that, mix that together to make a pate, and then we screed the whole floor. That'll fill in any gaps, so that'll stop any air vents coming through, yeah. any small insects coming through, and it'll give the floor a more uniform finish. Once the pâté bois has gone off, we leave that for about six to eight hours, then we can then start using the brush system. And the brush system we use is like a, it adds texture back into the grain. So floor sanding will flatten the floor, yep. but the brushes will take out any soft material in the oak, which then opens up the veins of the oak and it gives you this beautiful textured look, which is what you have now, but what you have now is a textured look with a lot of debris <laughs> from the edge of the property. Yeah. So basically we're going to restore the floor by removing the dirt and then putting back that aged look. So when you apply your oil, the Gilbert oil to the floor, yeah. that will then make it look like a period floor again. Amazing. Well, we're so excited with this. But you also said that these, we were worried, but you also said that these floors are in pretty good nick. <laughs> Which we were pretty surprised at because you've got a grading system, haven't you? Yeah, we go one to ten. <laughs> and, and we were quite surprised that these aren't in bad nick at all. So I will let you crack on. I'm so excited. He's done a little little test patch here. So when you see this compared to this, it's just it's this is gonna be sublime. I, I know this already and I'm so excited for it now. So I'll let you crack on and I'm gonna go get some dinner. Okay, see you in a bit. Thank you.
So floor's looking absolutely amazing. We've had the sand in, so now it's up to the next stage. Yeah. So what we're doing now? Now we are making a, a pâté de bois, which looks like mud. Because <laughs> it doesn't look like a pâté. <laughs> which is fine sawdust of 80 grit. It's really important that it's 80 grit or above when you make a pâté de bois. Otherwise, if it's too, if it's before 80, it'll be too fibrous and it won't go into the, the gaps. So you'll defeat the object in the job. We're using a resin, which we mix with a pate, and you want it to be quite liquid because as you're using it, it will start to go off. So I'm gonna add a little bit more liquid to that. You need two blades because you're gonna be troweling onto the floor. So that's the way you do it. Trowel on, trowel off, and you'll be moving down in lines across the floor, filling gaps like this, and then you leave it for about four hours and then you can then sand it off. Depending on the temperature, it may take a little bit longer to dry, but it's really important that this is not, see that's quite thick now. So you don't want it too thick, otherwise it won't spread. But also you don't want it too thin because the fibers of the sawdust won't hold the product together. And then when it dries, you'll have to go back and do a refill if you want to avoid. So I'm just saying this is slightly better than the PVC method, yeah? Yeah, the, the PVA method, using PVA and sawdust, it works up to a point, but because the PVA dries out, if the PVA mix is not done properly, what you'll find is the PVA separates from the sawdust and then it falls away from the gaps. And you can only fill a certain size gap, so a maximum gap is like four mil, five, five or a push you'll end up doing two passes. So three to four mil is a good size gap for the gap filling on a floor. But the other important point is, don't fill the gaps if the floor is flexing. If when you walk on the floor, it's doing this, and you can feel it moving, you can't gap fill it. You'll be wasting product, time, and the floor won't appreciate it. Because when you put your finish on, it'll break away, and then you'll have spaces under the finish, or it'll break through the finish. So it's really important, assessment, can it be done? You might only have, on, a, on some floors, you might say, okay, I'm going to do 30% of the floor with gap filling because the rest of the room is moving. Mm -hmm. So walk your floor, work out where it can take it, and then prepare your product. If it's bigger gaps, make it a bit thicker. If it's thinner gaps, make it a bit thinner. Lovely. All good to know. Yeah. What are you getting technical? <laughs> <laughs> what are you going with this? I'm fascinated. I'm sure you all are too.
So the rooms are looking absolutely unbelievable. All three of them, the transformation is, is night and day. So you've got all the resin off. Yeah, that's been done today. Next job. Next job, now the resin's gone and all the borders are sanded back. We're going to use the brush system, the 60 grit brushes, the nylon brushes we spoke about, to now texturize the floor. And these will polish the floor as well. So that will give it that aged look again. You've got a smooth floor, but to balance it out with the look of the room, the brush system will just add that little bit of um, depth and character to it. Yeah, and it gives it that polish look. So when you apply the oil to the floor, that will just enhance the look of the wood then. Absolutely. And it will just give it that more of a, a period feel rather than looking brand new. I can't believe like the difference. I, I genuinely can't. Like say when you see out in the hallway and then you see into here and just see how this was two days ago, three days ago, it's it's completely changed the room and again you can just feel it all coming together here so i think you crack on with this i think it's going to be fun and yeah let's see what this does So, all done, and it's, I genuinely can't believe it. it's looking unbelievable, mate. It's such a good job, and it's just so, it's just come up so beautiful, hasn't it? It's just really enhanced this suite, and it literally draws you in, you want to walk, and it brought it down bare feet, right? <laughs> because it's just so nice underfoot, and again, you can't feel this, but when you've gone over that brush system, it's just made such a difference, hasn't it, in, in how it, just feels like it's brought the wood back to yeah back to life. Takes it back to what it used to be. Yes, you can actually imagine walking around here like as it was like hundreds of years ago now. Because this is how it would have been, and it's just it's absolutely spectacular. I, I never myself, I never found the fascination <coughs> in these floors because they were just so decrepit and <laughs> covered in all sorts. And now seeing them, the beauty in them is just absolutely unbelievable. You are a magician. 
Well, I, th I think th I appreciate that. That's extremely <laughs> kind, and I think what's good for you guys is that you've actually got really good floors to start with because it's really rare to see floors in this condition. Yeah. So what was hidden below was really good. Yeah. And what you've got from the outcome of the floors being so well fitted is a really good outcome because generally this floor I'd mark, I mark my floors out to 10 and I'd mark this as an eight. For the age of it, that's more like a newly fitted floor. So yeah, this floor yeah. is bomb proof. And considering this place has been abandoned for how many years in between and the water that's been coming in and everything, I'm just so lucky to have been able to, to, to get it to somewhere near to this. So as you've seen, Brad's gone around and he's just touched up them little bits. And our next job's going to be waxing now, I think, isn't it? <laughs> That'll be a fun few days. Um, so we're going to wax all this. We've got the Gilboy's Hard <coughs> Oil Wax that we're going to show you again. An absolutely amazing product. We're going to get that down and again it'll just change the whole complexion of this one. It, it won't look. Yeah. This looks new new right now but the Gilboy's will just give it that. It'll, in, it'll enhance the wood and um, it'll just bring out those nice tones of each individual yeah. piece of oak. The colours in it, like so you can see like stuff that I've never noticed before, you just see the differences in it, every single little piece of its own little bit of character. So absolutely amazing. We, we can't thank you enough, mate. Well it's it's been a pleasure to, to be chosen to come and restore your floor. So I think that I think the pleasure for you guys having it, the outcome is a pleasure for me to to be invited to do the work for you. No, it's, so it's, a, it's, a, it's a mutual benefit. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and Brad's on Facebook as well, you've seen you You've been posting your stuff on here as well, so you'll be able to see on this here on YouTube. Yeah, we've got a YouTube channel which is Parfait Parquet. So all our all our pages come under my business name, which is Parfait Parquet. Um, we'll put some links in the description as well, so yes. people can follow along and see some of this amazing work that we do because it is proper. Stand there, you can watch it. It's just mesmerising, absolutely mesmerising, just seeing it go and come. It, it's absolutely brilliant the process that you've done. We hope you've enjoyed this, we're absolutely loving it, it's looking absolutely brilliant, so we're, we're over the moon. And if you have, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and make sure you've got the bell click for notification, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye! If you'd like to be part of our journey, and help restore the chateau, then please join us on Patreon, where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history and get exclusive videos.